Hey guys, Dave from DE Services here, and I'm going to show you how to wire a 20 amp arc fault breaker for a GFI receptacle in a bathroom. Okay, this is our 20 amp arc fault breaker. Okay, new code here in New Jersey. Got to use those on all new lines run. That's our panel and our 12 gauge wire that we have hanging down, looped up. Uh, the yellow casing on the wire is to let you know that it is a 12 gauge wire as opposed to white wire which is 14. Okay what we're going to do is we're going to take this cover off and we're going to show you what the inside of the panel looks like and hopefully it is not a mess. Alright we're back we have the panel off the cover and I am very happy because the electrician that put this panel in originally did a fantastic job and it is very neat okay as you can see everything is nice and neat straight everything's out to the outside the neutrals and grounds come into the same uh, terminal which is the design of this panel which is fine okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this wire into the panel and show you how to hook it up alright so now we have this wire in the panel and we have to slice it down and you get down to the bottom and we're gonna have to uh, open up the casing and we're gonna pull that wire out now you gotta be careful cutting this wire uh, down the middle you want to cut it because that's where the ground is uh, if you go too deep into that casing you're going to slice either the uh, black or the uh, neutral and uh, if it touches anything metal and it's exposed it's going to arc inside that panel uh, which is not going to be uh, good so we pull the casing up all the way to the top and we cut it Alright, so now what we have to do is separate these wires. You got the black and the white, which we're going to attach to the breaker, the arc fault. So we're going to just move those along to the side for right now. And we're going to take this ground wire and set this in the panel. And because the guy did a really nice job wiring this, we're going to take some care here and try to make this nice and neat as best we can. So you size it up and we cut it off. And what I like to do is just loosen up the terminal enough so we can get the wire in. Okay. And then what we do is we grab our point nose pliers and just noticing that this would have been in front of the other wire so we like to put these in the back so what we do is we set it in the back then we grab our pliers and we insert it into the hole using the pliers helps us because you don't want to really put your hands too much in this panel because if you touch something that you're not supposed to touch you're gonna get zapped okay so we hold it in there with the pliers until it stays and tighten up the screw and the ground is pretty much set. You can adjust the wire a little bit, move it around just to make sure that it's uh, set in the place that you want it to be in, kind of hidden back there a little bit. Okay, that looks really good. So now what we're going to do is wire our arc fault breaker and we're going to start by unraveling the neutral lead and you're going to see in a minute here what I have to uh, connect this to uh, basically what we have to do is just strip it a little bit I want to take about three eighths to a half inch uh, and have the copper showing okay and this is going to go to 
the same terminal actually on this panel. Okay, different screw, but same terminal. Um, I like to separate them as much as possible. I never put ground and a neutral together. Okay. So what we do is we put it in there. This one you don't really need a put in those pliers because you have the wire to hold on to. It's much easier. So you just tighten it up. Okay, so we set the ot in the ground in here, and that's where the breaker is going to go. So what we do is we size up the wires, okay, to where we want those to be, and we cut those, okay. What we do is we strip them, and again, you strip them the same where it's about 3 8 to uh, probably about at the longest a half of an inch, okay. And what we're going to do is... We're going to hold up our breaker, and this breaker again is the arc fault. So you got one side which is the load, okay, and it'll say it. And usually the screw is gold on the load side, which is the hot. And on the other side is going to be the neutral, and it'll just say neutral load. And normally those screws are silver, okay. And what you do is uh, you're probably going to have to loosen them up, maybe one or both, just enough so the wire will uh, get in there. Okay, then we attach them. So we're going to attach the hot first and you hold it in there and start setting the screw. You don't have a lot of room to work in here so your screwdriver tends to uh, slip off a lot. Plus, you're holding on to this, so you got to be careful. You don't want to slip off and stab through your hand. So just be careful. Uh, get those in there. And like this one, I have to loosen up just a touch more. Now it slides in. And we tighten this one up. So now we got the ground set, the neutral from the breaker to the neutral block, and... We got the hot and the neutral into the actual breaker. Okay, so as you can see, the breaker is set to off position because it's outside. Uh, inside would be turned on. Okay, make sure that has to be off, otherwise you're going to see sparks when you push this in. And you have to clip this in. It has a cleat in the back. Okay, it hooks in. It's like so. And you have to give a real firm push to get that in there. Okay, so once that's in, it's essentially hot. Okay, uh, you'll have to turn on the breaker so power flows back through, but that's pretty much ready to go. We just try to organize our wires a little bit more. And with these arc fault uh, breaker wires, you have these uh, tails that come off from the breaker. It's kind of hard to keep them neat uh, just because it's, a, it's like an odd way that the wire flows. But we just try to tuck them out, you know, towards the back, out of the way, and that'll work. All right, so now we just, you know, check again. Just make sure your wires look good. Nothing's really touching each other in a way that you wouldn't like. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the cover on this box. All right, so now we got the cover on, and all our screws are lined up, tightened in. Everything's secure. Nothing's rattling around. It fits in pretty good. So what we do is we open the cover up, and there's our breaker. Okay, you have an on, off, right now, remember it's in the off position. Before you turn it on, you have to make sure that everything is connected on the end that, that you are working. So in our bathroom, everything is connected because we already wired everything up. So we go ahead and turn this on. And as you can see, it's on and it never tripped, which means everything is wired properly. Okay. And... What we have to do now is locate the number of the breaker, and this is breaker number 21. So we go up to the legend up here on the top, and we locate number 21, and it's open, and we have to label it. Okay. What we're labeling this right now is first floor GFI outlet. Now, if you don't label these, uh, most 
inspectors will fail you. So it's a good idea to get in a habit of labeling everything. So we're going to close her up. This is our receptacle. You can see that it is tamper resistant. That's what the TR stands for. Uh, so another code in New Jersey here, you have to have tamper resistant. And it is going to be a 20 amp circuit. That's what you see with that little um, kicker off the side. And identifies a 20 amp outlet. So we push the reset button. To reset the breaker you can see the green light is on and we have power so that's all you got to do guys good luck with that